Hello there. We're looking at trigonometry uh, in this video and we're looking at finding the area of a triangle. Now the area of a triangle, now you thought that uh, area of a triangle you needed half the base times the perpendicular height and that's for a uh, triangle that um, possibly has a perpendicular height to it but we can actually find the area of a triangle using trigonometry in a non-right angle triangle without any indication of uh, a perpendicular height happening. Uh, the area formula for a non-right angle triangle is half A times B times sine C. A and B are side lengths and C is an angle. So, fancy trigonometry formula for the area of a triangle and uh, we can use it on a non-right angle triangle. So the A and the B are two sides, such as that one circled, and another side, such as the other one circled. And the important thing for about the C angle, it needs to be what we call the included angle. It needs to be the angle that is between the two sides that we're working with. So it needs to be two sides and the included angle for this to work properly. So this formula finds the area of a non-right angle triangle from two sides and an included angle. Here is an example. We have two sides and an angle that's in between those two sides, so this should work quite well. Find the area of triangle ABC. And here's our formula. Area equals half AB sine C. Now, within that formula, between the half and the A, and the A and the B, and the B and the sine C, we have invisible multiplies. So we'll uh, keep that in mind when we're putting all this into our calculator. So we're looking to take uh, that formula on the top line and just underneath it substitute all the numbers from the question like most formula based questions. So our area is equal to a half times we'll call our first side 16 and our second side 15. Now you might uh, recall that when we're multiplying the order doesn't actually matter so we could have got those out around the wrong way and still been correct in our final answer. Multiplied by now the sine C, the things that come after sines and coses and tans, their angles, the only angle in the whole question is 48 degrees. So we have in this section over here two sides and what we call the included angle. So we've just put them in all in the right spots and we will type that into our calculator and successfully get an answer of 89.2. Now when you're using units of meters which were in the original side lengths and you're turning them into an area we will have to be using square units for area so that'll be meters squared and I've rounded that off to one decimal place. So pretty straightforward one this one. We've got a formula for the area of a triangle. It doesn't have to be a right angle triangle because we're using two sides and the angle that's in between. If we have that information we can find the area of a triangle using that uh, half AB sine C formula. So the formula finds the area of a non-right angle triangle from two sides and an included angle. Nice short one there, hope that helps and we'll catch you next time in some other topic. If you're not sure of any of your maths or you just want to revise some old topic and get better at it, refresh your memory, peterblakemaths.com. See you next time, thanks for listening.